So, Professor Jones, thank you very much for coming along. And I know that you're uh, a neuroscientist and uh, have worked for many years on research into the mechanisms of the brain. Um, many people get rather frightened when they hear about that, and they think probably that scientists are going too far when they, uh, when they hear about um, the latest research on the brain. What do you think about that? I think you can always say, are scientists going too far, whether it's on the brain or anything else. I think when it comes to the brain, though, uh, where people probably really get concerned is with, on the one hand, the drugs that can be used and that are used in order to modify people's behaviour. But I think the other major area that people are getting very concerned about at the moment is ways of actually looking into our brains and seeing what's happening when we are thinking. So that's using this functional MRI approach so that if uh, you had this with me now, you could actually say what I'm thinking and possibly what I think about you or think about this situation. In other words, intruding into people's privacy. And I think that's one of the great concerns that is emerging. So it's a hugely powerful tool and it seems to be an extremely useful tool, but is it intruding too much into people's privacy? Is it giving people out there um, an ability to direct how we think, how we act? For instance, in terms of the products that we might buy in a supermarket, are we able or might we be able to intrude far too much in not just market research, but actually research based upon the way in which our brains are functioning and the ways in which we really are thinking? Mm. Do you think that Christians in particular, or just believers in God generally, have anything particular to say about this area of research? Or do you think actually Christians are people who, who feel they should hold back from studying the brain in some way? Unfortunately, I think there are Christians who want us to hold back and not to think about it. But I think that where a Christian emphasis, a Christian perspective can be very useful is actually giving a context for these things. So it's one thing I mean, to say that, uh, or to any approach which is going to um, almost abstract or fragment the person is a danger. But if it's going to give us a better understanding of how people act and react, then I think it can be extremely useful. But I think what this does show is how important the context, the relationships are, the way in which society functions. So one can see with some of these procedures, and procedures, of course, that have been available for a long time in terms of a lot of the, you know, the behavior changing mechanisms that we have, uh, they can be fine in societies which are balanced, healthy societies, but in societies which are rather different and which um, downplay the importance of the individual, they can be extremely dangerous. So do you think there's a God spot in the brain somewhere? Do you have a God spot in your brain? No, I don't think there is a God spot in my, in my brain or in any, anyone else's brain. Now, that doesn't mean to say that when I pray, when I make decisions, which are spirit, in inverted commas, spiritual decisions, that you, you couldn't actually detect what is happening in my brain. I think you could, just as you can ha detect what's happening in my brain when I'm trying to learn a mathematical formula. So I think in that sense, um, the ways in which... Uh, we respond spiritually, the ways in which we make spiritual types of decisions. Yes, it has a neural basis, but just as everything else has a neural basis. And I, so I don't think that is anything like a God spot that some people might refer to. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Professor Jones.